What's up, y'all? It's your boy Evan here. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to draw Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Let's get started. What is up, y'all? Today, we are drawing Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. So let's get started. I wanna go ahead and begin by pulling some reference. Always pull reference for your actors when you're trying to draw certain characters. You don't have to draw the actor, um, but just get the essence of him, and it's always good to have that right by you. What up, Dave? Dave in the house. So when you're starting out, we wanna always start with the basic head shape for our character here. All right, so I'm gonna put in a basic head shape here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half with his center line coming down. And then we're gonna go ahead and give him a chin down here. What's going on, Jake? What's up? Y'all wanna go ahead and click invite for everybody, people to join in. And I'm gonna draw a basic head shape down here and that's all you need. You don't need to do too much then. And I wanna go ahead and connect this up here and let's get his eye line in there. Let's get his eye line around here and we know his ears are gonna be back here on the side of his head, of course, not anywhere else. And then that about does that. So when I want to put his neck in here, John is not like a muscle bound person at all. So we're going to have his neck sketch it here and then maybe his neck coming down here. He has, you know, average size um, male shape figure. And now I'm going to go ahead and start working on his face. So with the face, that can be kind of tricky because you want to go ahead and just kind of get, like I said, just the essence of the character. So when we're drawing here and I'm seeing that the actor's name is Kit Harrington. So he has his eyebrows very low. He has a very low brow. So I want to make sure I keep that in mind when I'm drawing him. And that's where we're going to go ahead and kind of like put his eyebrows maybe about in here. And you don't have to draw the actor exactly. You don't have to do a portrait, but just get the essence of the character and stuff like that. So, and then you're going to have his other eye maybe about here. I want to get his pupils in here. You know, kind of just like a, almost like a realistic eye. And his brow is very low. He almost has... Jon Snow almost has this like sad look to him. Any Game of Thrones fans out there? Anybody Game of Thrones fans? Let's see. And then we have staying on this same guideline. Want to go ahead and put in his other eye. So I want to make sure I'm looking at my reference correctly. I want to put in his other eye. You guys excited for the and you're watching the new season? I know it, no spoilers, no spoilers. You're right, Adam, no spoilers. So I want to put in a little bit of his other eye here and kind of just be very loose with it. That's why I'm using the side of my pencil. I don't want to get too detailed and you know, in there. I just want to just use the side of my pencil. And then John has this like really like sh these shadows underneath his his lower eye. So he's like kind of just these like darker shadows underneath his eye right here. So dark shadows but I first want to just work on his eyes and the eyes really are what give the character the look and everything like that yeah I saw the Justice League trailer it looks pretty cool you know we'll 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 see uh, I have more faith in Joss Whedon so we'll, we'll see what he does so <laughs> uh, since Joss Whedon has now taken over so that, that that'll be cool but when you're drawing you want to just kind of just focus and see how the actor's eyes are and um, you can make them a little bit more expressive if you want or stay realistic and just go right there. What's up, Andy? Coleman, Dario, what's going on? Is it a character of a character? Um, you could say that. It doesn't have to be. But yes, you can make it a car caricature of a character, of an actor, you know, of, of someone. So I want to get his, like, his jawline in here. Um, always looking at your reference here. And feel free to go ahead and flesh out any more figures than, you know, um, or attributes of the character. So let's not get to his hair just yet. I want to go ahead and, uh, let's see here, and get his jawline in here. Yeah, so, so you guys are Game of Thrones fans in here or not? I mean, are you guys, like, you're watching the new season or anything? I know Comic-Con was this past weekend. They showed the Justice League trailer and everything. 
let's see now john has like these his lips are very narrow like looking at the actor kit harrington his lips are very narrow so he has like you know full size upper lip here um but then he has like see his lips coming down here and i want to just draw the shadow of him then thank you jose you guys don't watch that then Oh, so the Infinity trailer's out there then, Levi? I didn't know about that. That's that's something. Yeah, that stuff isn't accidentally leaked. Well, the first time it was, but going forward, eh, they, they know what they're doing. The more leaked footage of they have of those things, then the better. So I want to shade in his upper lip some, and then his nose. Uh, and with John, his, his butt mustache and his eyebrow are... His mustache, rather, is very... Um, is a key feature of his face. So I want to have his nose in here. And I'm going to come and bring it down here. The bridge of his nose. I'm looking at like how much. He doesn't have a lot of like shadows or detail on his nose at all. So I make sure I want to get that. Kind of like nose right here. The, uh, the shadow on his face there. Erase that. But always, have you guys ever done drawn actors? at all have you like taken your time to draw any actors out there and things like that let's see here get that narrow and those of you who are just now joining hey if you haven't gotten it go ahead and cop my superhero drawing course go get that the link is in the description cop that right now superhero drawing course dot com the link is in there and I show you how to draw a cool superhero figure. Be sure. Superhero drawing course.com in there. Go ahead and click the link in the description and go ahead and get that. Let's see. So I want to go ahead and smooth out his nose. I made his nose too bumpy. I don't want to make it too bumpy. And that's how you want to go ahead and draw. And it takes your time. Take your time with it too. Don't try and um uh, draw these like actors and stuff and think that it didn't look quite right it's never going to look quite right drawing portraits takes time and dedication and practice and even i'm not <laughs> a, a pro at doing that you don't try and just draw these uh actors and things you just want to just kind of get their likeness in there so i want to go ahead and mess with his eye some more and get that dark shadow, have his eyebrow very low, color in his pupil there, and I want to get some shadow. He has like some shadows under his eye. He's a lot of shadows around his eye. And see this eye over here is will make that in deep shadow too. Okay. And the thing that makes John Snow John Snow is, you know, part of is that hair. The hair is very um much a part of him. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this mouth down here a little bit more. And I want to put in his mustache. So I want to shade that in there. And it, it, it overlaps his. It comes down. It's up by his nose, as you can see here and there. It's up by his nose, and it comes down. And it doesn't connect to his beard at all. Yeah, Jon Snow is the best. He is the best. He really is. He's a character that didn't have it easy. He grew up always like an outsider, kind of like. But, and now look at him. And now we see he has some like dark shadow and hair underneath for his goatee. And then he's going to have like shade in some hair in there for his beard. And it will come up and lightly come up around his jawline all right so i want to put some more shadow there underneath his eye just to kind of give him that mysterious type of look okay so now the biggest thing that comes with john snow is um that hair so that hair is something that a lot, a lot of people like look at and it's like okay how does john get his hair that way kit harrington his hair so i want to draw his hair kind of coming out here I'm going to draw it kind of like curly and things. And it's going to be coming up. I want to just get the basic shape of the hair. All right. 
and it's going to be coming out and I want the hair to kind of go back this way and then down here and he has like thick lush hair and I want to maybe have some strands of hair coming out here kind of like covering up his face a little bit and let's see get some more hair coming down down there and and one of the things that you can go ahead and do is keep adding some hair out here and it's just in curls and and locks just flowing out but always make sure it's shorter as it's coming near the bottom there yeah I could do some more guardian, uh, guardians I was a Game of Thrones characters Andy yeah uh huh so who was some more of the popular ones I know we draw a lot of superheroes here, but I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, so I wanna want to go ahead and like kinda like just draw some of them out there. And I'm gonna get his hair in here. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I see my boy Chris Copeland is up in here. Chris, what's up, baby? What's going on with you now? If y'all don't know, Chris Copeland is a dope artist, dope storyboard and character designer. Working over at Warner Brothers Animation. Everybody say hello, Chris. Hello. What up, Chris? Hey, Chris, did you go to WonderCon? I mean, WonderCon Comic Con, man. All right. Now with John, I want to go ahead and draw in his um his co his cloak. Um, I don't know what kind of animal this is supposed to be. Uh, I know everybody on the Night's Watch always has like this uh this like uh. I don't know what kind of animal is that y'all tell me what kind of fur or something is that then so I want to draw that cloak very close to him all right very close to him like it's gonna be kind of almost overlapping his cheek and going around him and then coming up here and and I'm gonna have the cloak kind of like almost overlapping his chin right there so if I can get my kneaded eraser and kind of like Get that out, erase that out over here, and kind of just draw it. And I don't know what's going on half the time over here with all this. I'm just going to draw his cloak just really just in there. And I'll shade all this in right there and and then kind of like put like some marks, like shadow to indicate the highlights, but still it has some depth in here, you know, for it. So uh, let's see. And then put some shadow over here alright so now and then the hair you want to kind of like just make sure you get like the hair just flowing with a lot of locks coming out here and it's all curly too but the part closest to him would be in deep shadow and I want to have like certain highlights in white up here so his hair it's not completely black because you do want to leave space for like highlights and things like that. So having that part in his hair right here and just messing around with it some more. Let me sharpen my pencil so I can get a longer lead up here. Let's see. Hodor. I should draw Hodor. You're right, Jose. I should draw Hodor in. Yeah, well, you want to have, Anderson, you want to have a lot of reference photos so you can, like, see how the character, have a better understanding of how the character looks. All right? That's very, very important. Let's see, I'm going to darken that, his hair on here. You, it's very important to have that. You're not just drawing, you know, just a picture of a person. you gotta just you got to make sure you have a good understanding of it. Now, can you get away with it? Yes, you can. That is definitely true. You can get away with it. Um, if you want to, but I like to go ahead and have more and I'm going to shade this in and shade that in that's dark, dark, dark up here uh, more light you know, around here and this curly hair, more hair just curly, curly I mean, it's, it's Jon Snow so I mean, he has a lot of hair so that's and that's kind of like how it is right there. I probably gave him too much like curly hair. Let me erase some of that. I don't want to have too much. He's not Thor. So, <laughs> you know, he doesn't have the long flowing hair like Thor or something like that. But, yeah. 
Like I said, those of you guys who are just joining here, make sure you go ahead and cop my free drawing course, superherodrawingcourse.com. Link is in the description. Description. If you need help drawing better superhero bodies and stuff like that, then you want to go ahead and cop that. All right. So um, now let's go ahead and start. Uh, I want to finish up his lips up here. Um, and I think I might go ahead and put his face in like dark shadow. Let's see here. I'll put some shadow here, here. Let's see if I have a light source coming this way, then I'll have the, the shadow here, shadow on this side. This side over here, over there, uh, his eyes will be in deep shadow. Uh, let's see here. I want to have him give him those sad eyes. I might have made this a little too sharp. I should thicken up his eyebrows because Jon Snow usually isn't mean or anything, but he does have these like sad eyebrows. Like he's always like in deep thought or just sad or something like that. So have that in shadow and then put a nice core shadow over here, over there. Let's see, put some shadow there around. Um, and Kit Harrington doesn't have a very defined like cheek wrinkles, but I'll go ahead and add it in there. I don't want to age him too much, but yeah, so put a shadow there, there around here and then I want to go in with my eraser and then erase out and put like a slight rim light so his face can kind of like it's like framed somewhat a slight rim light in there okay yes I and so I do talk about photo reference in my course and a great deal you know so um but yeah this is what you want to do so I mean, who, who, what are some of your favorite characters from Game of Thrones? Anybody? Like, who, who, who do you like? Who do you love? Who do you, you know, uh, want to see more of? Who do you, who's your favorite character from the series? You know, let's see, get more of that beard in there. He has that beard. And let's see here, more core lighting right there. His light here. Khaleesi, yeah, she's dope. Yes, Muhammad, you take a bunch of photo reference and you make it your own way. So it's very hard to draw reference from reference, so you don't have to draw it exactly. A lot of people think you do, but you don't have to. You really don't have to at all. And uh, that's about Jon Snow. Right now, I'm going to take my Presto Whiteout, and I'm going to, like... Let's see if I can like get some white out here. I want to put a white piece of white in his eye. That eye. And uh, let's see here. I want to put some white out there on the side of his face. You know, put a little bit in his hair over here. And that in his hair. And put some in his hair up there. Around. And let's see here. Put some more white out in there so it shows that his hair has some gloss and sheen to it. Uh, I'm going to put some white out on his cloak. Cut some white in there. And then some white on this side. You know. And let's see here. Uh, I might put a little white out there on his lip. Um, we're just going to put some white out here. On, I could put some on his nose a little bit. So, and then when you have that, uh, it is Jon Snow. So let me see here, I'm gonna take my, my pencil and I'm gonna shade in a lot back here. A lot back here then. Yeah, Baelish, Arya, yep, Arya's dope. Arya really is then. If you ain't watching Guardians of the Galaxy, you gotta be watching it, that's the show. Like it's a very, gotta start from the beginning too. Gotta start from the beginning. Put a little bit there, there, and shade that in. Um, I want to darken in his hair up there to kind of help frame it somewhat. So, so what are some non-superhero characters you guys would want to see me draw? Who are some other non-superhero characters? You see, I'm going to darken that in some right there so his hair shouldn't be too 
polished it all. I'm gonna bring that down. Maybe I made it a little bit too thick. I'm gonna bring that down some. Yeah, that looks better. Much better. A little bit more like Jon Snow. A little bit more like him. Darken up his beard some more here. And darken up his beard some more right there. And he has that. Um, and then with that, since he's Jon Snow, let's put some snow up in here. Uh, let me test out this whiteout. Make sure the whiteout is flowing. Okay. And then just... But you don't want to cover up the eye, so... It's John Snow. Put him in snow. Winterfell. That's where he was born and raised. And I'm going to go ahead. I want to... For some reason, I want to, like, darken up his nose here. I don't think I got his nose quite right. Maybe he needs, like, more shadow underneath his nose and I bring that nostril down there a little bit more. Let me go ahead and sign this mug. 2017. That Everybody thanks for watching in and I will catch you later. Peace. And if you're still having a hard time coming up with your own superhero body, then click the link below in the description and get my free superhero mini course. Get started right now. Don't wait.